Hi, I'm Minnie. In this video, I'll discuss dictionaries in SAPCPQ. A dictionary in SAPCPQ contains key value pairs applicable at the tenant level. The key values refer to SAPCPQ UI elements such as buttons, tooltips, etc. Two types of dictionaries are available in CPQ. System dictionaries and custom dictionaries. System dictionaries are preloaded and available by default on all CPQ tenants. They're managed by the SAP CPQ team and end users, even administrators don't have permissions to modify them in any manner. You can only compare or export system dictionaries. While they're unable to modify system dictionaries, administrators can create custom dictionaries, which can extend and override entries in a system dictionary. Now I'll show how this works by navigating to Setup, General tab, and then clicking Dictionaries. I see all available dictionaries, both system and custom. Here, I see that there are dictionaries available in several languages. The type column indicates whether it's a system or a custom dictionary. Let's see what one of them contains. I'll click the values icon for one of the dictionaries, say US English. We have many keys here, each a code associated with a specific CPQ function. For example, the key here relates to the quote items, and the key here refers to the label of a field where I can enter a part number. The keys for almost all CPQ UI elements, including text fields, search boxes, buttons, and tooltips, can be found in each system dictionary. The value associated with that key will differ for every language. Now let's see how the system dictionaries work. I'll navigate to my user page, change my default dictionary from US English to German, and save. You see that UI elements are now labeled in German. I'll move on to an example that shows how a custom dictionary can override these labels. I've added a shipping cost to a quote using custom fields. The default label for this cost appears in the quote as quote layout.columns.shipping cost. It will look a lot nicer if the field were labeled simply shipping cost. To do this, I'll first create a custom dictionary. I'll navigate to the path shown earlier, click Add New, and give the dictionary a name. I want US English as the parent dictionary. So I'll leave it as it is, ensure that the visibility condition field has the value one, and save. I'll click the values icon for the custom dictionary created and add a new key. In the key text box, I'll enter the key that was displayed, and in the value text box, I'll enter the label I want shown for this field. I prefer to call it just shipping cost. Finally, I'll save. However, in the quote page, I still see the key shown as the label for the shipping cost field. Why? because I haven't changed the default dictionary for the user I'm logged in as. Until I make that change, the values in my current default dictionary are used. I go to my user page and change my default dictionary to new custom dictionary one. Now, I see that the value change is reflected in the quote, and I can see the field labeled as shipping cost. To summarize, system dictionaries are uploaded by the CPQ team and can't be modified by administrators. 
However, administrators can create custom dictionaries to override or supplement the entries in system dictionaries. Thanks for watching.